He has won this election and I congratulate all of our MPs. We've won six out of the seven seats here in the city of Glasgow and I congratulate all uh, MPs of whatever party that have been elected tonight across the country. Do you have to reflect on your own role in the campaign? Could you have done better? Hey, oh, look, I'll reflect on all aspects of this campaign. I think there's a number of different factors at play. I, I think there was, was clearly a late surge, not just in Scotland, but across the UK, as we see, to Jeremy Corbyn, which the polls in Scotland didn't really pick up uh, to the same extent as, as they did south of the border. You know, clearly there are issues of the country feeling uncertain in the wake of Brexit and independence clearly being a factor in that. Uh, I think one of the biggest issues tonight, though UK-wide, of course, is the fact that this is a disaster for Theresa May. She called this election unnecessarily. She arrogantly thought she was going to push the opposition aside and cruise to a landslide. And, you know, tonight she has had a, an absolutely disastrous performance. But, you know, of course, I'll reflect on the SNP's results. I'm not going to make rash decisions about anything at four o'clock in the morning, not having had any sleep. But uh, I'll, I'll think through uh, the implications of this result. But, you know, let's not uh, lose sight of the fact that disappointing, though uh, our, our losses are and they are extremely disappointing. I'm not going to try and take away from that. Uh, this is a victory for the SNP in Scotland. You know, before 2015, the maximum number of seats we'd ever held at Westminster was 11, and we had six going into the 2015 election. So we've won this election in Scotland, and I uh, congratulate everybody who's helped make that possible. Just